Well, here we are, folks. Just a couple days left in 2020. What an interesting year. With just a day or two left, I wanted to take a moment just to kind of reflect on my goals for the 2020 year. Was I able to accomplish them? Was I satisfied with what I tried to do? And just get a kind of a recap summary of what happened. Now, yo, you're not gonna talk about the fact that like, you haven't made a video in like three months. You're just gonna like gloss over that all, 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 all like completely? Yeah, pretty much. Before we get too far into this video, make sure you very gently just tap that like button just send it on its merry way so they can float off into the youtube algorithm so more people can see this video and be blessed starting off our first couple of goals here one of them was to purchase a house in the year 2020 particularly a house with 50 percent down payment and where the payment of the mortgage was around 25 percent of just my take-home pay, uh, not our household take-home pay. Were we able to do that? Well, you can kind of figure out I'm not exactly in the same place that I was filming before a few months ago. So yes, we did, we purchased a home and now we are homeowners and it's wonderful. Everything is sunshine and rainbows. We haven't had a single, it <laughs> We've had to do some major renovations to the home. We knew it was coming. We planned on it, we saved for it. But yes, home ownership is wonderful. It's not sunshine and rainbows like everyone thinks. Suddenly when something breaks, you're like, oh crap, I have to fix this now. What am I gonna do? Who do I call? I can't call Ghostbusters, they're not real. It, it, it can be pretty stressful. One of our goals in 2020 when we purchased a home was to complete all major renovations before the year ended. That was a big fat fail. Because we were saving so aggressively for the home, we wanted to see if we could beat our savings rate of 45%, which we had in 2019. This year, we were able to achieve a savings rate of 47%. So not a big, huge, dramatic increase, but an increase nonetheless. We were able to take that savings and make the renovations we needed on the home and also purchase the home uh, that is standing here behind me. The cool thing is, is in the past eight months, eight months, we were able to save over 54% of our income, which was awesome. One of the things that we're going to have to do in regards to renovation of the home is to tear this particular shed down. It's actually a garage, but the, you can see down here, the foundation is actually gone or it's about to go. And the roof and the walls are actually coming in. This place looks like a fun house. Uh, so it's gonna require us to just take this thing brick by brick and just tear it down completely. And we'll be able to just kind of get the renovations and put up a brand new garage when we're done. Now that I'm in the shade with less than ideal lighting, let's continue making this video. One of the goals I tried to do in 2020 was to make a YouTube video at least twice a month and post it on this channel. As you can probably tell from looking at my history of uploading videos, that was a big fat <laughs> fail. However, a tweaking of the schedule and understanding better what financial coaching for me is going to look like going forward, I think I should be able to pull this off. Other things that I did not have as a goal, but I was surprised to see, was the year 2020 actually had our net worth push past the $100,000 mark. And now, since we purchased a home, push past the $150,000 mark. That was something that I wasn't planning on doing. I wasn't trying to make this happen just kind of did. When you're intentional about being wise with your finances and doing the right thing, getting out of debt, having an emergency fund, investing, making a smart purchase with a home, that sort of thing kind of takes care of itself. Just like a house has to have a solid foundation, have a good, solid, concrete foundation where you can lay the rest of your financial house on, that is the key to building a strong net worth. Now that it's on my radar, I want to see if I can get my net worth up past the 200000 mark. I think that's a tall order, but if I'm careful, I think we can do it. I'm also renewing and retrying uploading a video twice a month. There you have it, folks. Those were the goals for 2020. 
Obviously, I didn't hit all of them. I would like to have done that, but hey, you hit some, you miss some. I'll take the goal of making a video twice a month. I'll repurpose that for 2021. We'd also like to maybe take a trip next year that involves an airplane. And then a five-year plan, we'd like to try to see if we can pay off this amazing home in about five years or less. You guys, I'm going to do my best to make more videos. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to comment. Please hit that like button. It encourages me and motivates me to make more content like this. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.